G'day there. Snow Crash here from Snow Crash Constructions. I've got a little something to talk to you about today. And no, it's not alpine houses constructed solely of oak wood. It's clocks. I knew you'd be excited. You'll have to excuse the grass and flowers and so forth, because as you know, at Snow Crash Constructions, we're a little bit more down to earth. We don't have any of those pristine, flat laboratory environments. No, we just get down to the meat of the problem, smash around ideas and come up with solid solutions that work. Anyway, I was recently watching uh, Exumavoid's Hermitcraft series. Episode 249. A link to that will be in the description below. And in that, he had a sugarcane farm. And he had a requirement for a variable delay clock. And having seen his uh, monstrosity that he'd built to do it, I thought I'd step in and give him a hand. This particular design is quite compact, you know, at least in two-dimensional space. It should serve his purposes pretty well. And as any engineer would point out to you, having moving parts, tangible objects flying around between hoppers and pistons extracting things is just a recipe for disaster. Anyway, all solid state and it works. I don't even think I'm going to have to give you a tutorial on this because it really is quite simple. I think what I'll do is I'll show you how it works, then just give you an aerial view. And from that you should be able to work it out pretty much straight away. Okay, so what we have here is a three-step variable output clock. It has a delay of approximately 18 seconds or 12 seconds or 6 seconds. It's based on a fairly novel design that we came up with using a fading comparator clock. Now I'm not saying it hasn't been done before in the Minecraft world, who knows, but this is what we've got and it works really well. It's pretty straightforward. At the moment it has been pulsing at the 18 seconds. If we were to change that, you flick this switch, it shuts down the rear bank and now you're operating on a 12 second delay pulse. Furthermore, shutting down the second bank and suddenly you'll start to get a six second pulse. This is totally reconfigurable by changing the number of comparators in each bank. You could even have a variable stepping like 10 second delay, 12 second delay, 22 second delay and you don't have to have three you could make it five step one step whatever you want it's very straightforward in fact as I said I'm not even gonna provide a tutorial what we might do is go up here and just give you a bit of a bird's eye view of what's actually happening and from that <laughs> that should be all you need uh, there's uh, no uh, parts underneath there's no redstone above or below that's pretty much it and it's a little gem really works well nothing moving around to go wrong and generally speaking we haven't had any problems with it so I hope that helps as you avoid and any of the others out there that may need a clock like this it's not a particularly common thing to come across uh, but anyway and on that note I'd like to say goodbye. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. This is Snow Crash. See you later. <laughs>